all right now that we have geo server up and running let's spend some time understanding what is geo server and how we can leverage it uh, for our needs so as you can see there are lot of options available in front of us in these different panels right we will go through all the important ones in upcoming lectures but for now let's just see what are those so in about us you can always look for server status so that will give you information about current server condition so where is my data directory how many connections what is my memory usage and all these basic things so we don't need to uh, come to here more often but let's say sometime if your geo server is running really slow you can easily free the memory and it will increase your geo server speed geo servers logs are a really important place even though it looks very much confusing right now many times when we face some problems logs are the solution you can always refer to the logs and see where exactly you are going wrong and then you can put just uh, you can just put those errors on on google or on stack overflow or on osgo's website and find the find the answers to that next we have is contact information so this is this is basically you can just save your information about geo server so mine is version 2.17 rc yours can say anything like 2.17.0 or if you are going with 2.16 or anything like that so this was just a basic thing now let's see something awesome so inside data you can see there are uh, six main uh, links available to us so let's just try to understand what what each link uh, is used for so the first is layer preview that means whatever layer you will add to your geo server can be accessed here and you can uh, outsource these layers using different formats so for example uh, you must have this manhattan landmark or manhattan point of interest data when you downloaded and installed geo server so if i click on this open layers button you can see that I am getting a map of some data right I can zoom in zoom out I can even click on any of this image like here if I click and I get some data back from it cool isn't it I can just click anywhere and it will return some other data to me I can click here I can click here awesome right if I go back to layer preview I can click on GML and it will create a gml file of that data so if you remember our gis basic lectures i discussed that gml is a vector type of uh, format of data that is used then we have kml just like gml we can download this kml we can easily open it then the next we have is this all formats drop down and if you can see that the reason why geo server is so popular is because it provides awesome uh, capabilities to publish or to use our data you can see i can easily generate geo tiff i can easily generate jpeg or png or pdf or open layers format or bunch of other things so i can easily just click on pdf and get the pdf meanwhile we will see what is tiff so this is the tiff of our data right so this was about raster data what about vector data we can also get our data back as csv geojson kml shapefile so let's try to get it as geojson all right you can see that i get a geojson format that we used previously when we were discussing vector layers in open layers right so this is awesome i can just publish any layer here and get a desired format output right the next we have is workspace workspace you can consider as so when we create database or when we create a uh, when we when we want to work on a new folder 
uh, you can just simply consider this scenario when we when we want to work on a new project what we do we basically create a new folder right so that we can put all the files all the documentation regarding to that project in that folder right so workspace is kind of like that folder so whenever i will receive a new project i will simply create a workspace of that project name for uri we will again give the same project name and if you will be working a lot with this uh, new folder you can set it to default so that means whatever new activity that you do such as adding store or adding layer it will automatically consider that this is your folder all right so now i think you understand what is workspace right so workspace hosts all information such as all layers all stores and all stylings and everything we will uh, that we will see forward all right so workspace you considered as a great uh, or a, or a, or a complete folder right next we have is stores so what stores means is how you want to get the data in geo server so if you click on stores you can see that these are all current available stores for us in our geo server and you can see these are different types of stores so it uh, the first is r grid the second is geotiff data that means i have added a geotiff the third is directory of special files that means shape files so that means this is a store which is pointing to a folder which contains a uh, different shape files that i want to use then we have post gis then again geotiff then world image image mosaic and all so there are different types of stores available right you can always add new store or remove existing store using these two buttons Lo so let me try and go into add new store and see wo what types of data sources are available so if you look into vector data you can see i can add a directory of special file i can add a geo package i can add a connection to my post gis or i can also connect to my post gis using jndi i can access properties using java i can access shape file or i can access feature server layer so these are all the different sources from where i can get new data in my geo server don't worry in upcoming lectures we will spend good amount of time on exploring these different uh, data sources similar to vector data we can also add new data using raster data sources so for example if i have a geo tiff that i want to upload i can easily do it here if i want to add image mosaic i can do it here so if you are familiar with image mosaic then it's great if you are not then image mosaic is a plugin that lets us handle the large amount of uh, tiff data into the geo server similar to that we have image pyramid so image pyramid is a brilliant concept that we use to handle uh, 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 handle the large data set such as uh, let's say a tiff image having uh, having size of 15 gb 20 gb 30 gb so all those types of tiff images can be handled very smoothly using such types of plugins so don't worry if you don't see them in your raster data in upcoming lectures i will definitely tell you how to add them here other than that we can also have wms and wmts as our data source so enough about data source let's move forward let's see what are layers so layers are the uh, most basic things that we have in geo server so until now we discovered workspace then we discovered stores and now these are the layers that we get from stores so if you remember the stores correctly we were connecting our postgres database we were connecting our folder of G, uh, special files that means shape files and then these are all the layers that we uh, use from those stores so you can see that currently i have 26 different layers running so this table gives me a uh, good information such as type so you can see different types of symbols so the first one is for polygon second is for point then the fourth is for the line 
the fifth is for the image all right then we get the title of the layer then we get the name so name is generally uh, the name is generally the uh, combination of the workspace colon the layer name then we have store name and finally it is enabled or not and then their SRS so this is the main uh, main information that we need throughout our development if I click on this one layer you can see that we are then uh, we can then see bunch of different options available don't worry in upcoming lectures we will see in uh, greater depth what these options means and how to use them but for now we understood that what is layers so now let's see how can we add a new layer so it looks like when I want to add a new layer I need to select a store so we cannot add a layer outside of the store so let's say if I select this store name, a name as uh, SHP you can see that this is a store containing a folder of special files so there are bunch of special files available and I can just simply publish any shape file from that uh, from that folder as my geo server layer in upcoming lectures we will do that then we have is a layer group so layer group means if you want to combine couple of layers together and treat them as one layer you can do that using layer group layer group is a really great functionality which allows us to combine layers and then treat them as one that means I can turn on and off all the layers with a same command and last but definitely not the least is the style style means uh, it is a file that contains all the information about how you want to style your feature or your layer so if you look into any one of the style so for example let's see the polygon you can see that again there are bunch of options available we will discuss a, this in greater depth in upcoming lecture but if I do preview legend you can see that this style is of a gray color polygon having a black colored boundary with the title as gray polygon with black outline so similar to this we can create our own style and then assign this style to the layer and then use that layer or view that layer in our layer preview all right i hope this was clear to you what types of uh, data we have in, uh, in in geo server and how we can uh, use different types of data sources how we can create style and assign them to layer how we can put bunch of layers together and treat them as a group next come is services so you might not see this WMTS because this is a plugin that we can install uh, uh, separately but you can see WCS WFS and WMS between these services we will be using WMS and WFS a lot because in order to get any layer as a raster layer the WMS service is used and similar to that if you want to use any layer as a vector layer the WFS service is used we will see how to use them and how to use the layer that is residing under geo server into the open layers application all right next to it is image processing raster access global settings that are available such as proxy URL that means if you want to open your uh, open your geo server using some external link or external IP address you can set the proxies here my my blog on how to do this in Windows server is available on medium.com you can definitely check this out apart from that mostly we keep the the uh, default setting as it is because they are awesome and they solve a lot of our problems next to it is tile caching I'm not sure if you can still see this but we will get into it in the later part of, part of this course apart from this we have basic things such as setting that means the role encryption then authentication passwords users data and services 
so these are all the high level things that we will not be covering in this course next is demos so we can use this to create wcs request re request that means web coverage requests or things like that which is again a part of advanced gis so all in all this is the introduction to the geo server i i am sure by now you guys are much impressed with the capabilities that geo server holds and from next video we will try to add some layers to the geo server and then try to use them in our application thank you